Hi, today we're going to take a look at this little thing called the Little Pluggy from MikeBooster.com. It's a very, very small microphone. It's a portable type of thing. It's for uh, portable rigs like GoPros. It's just over an inch long. There are no wires attached at all, just a stereo plug, although the signal only goes to the left hand uh, of the uh, the signal so when you get it into in post you're going to have to center it up and uh, so it's mono but only on the left hand channel it comes with a foamy it comes with a signal to noise ratio of better than 80 db that's really good minus 80 db for a, a lavalier is extremely good and uh, i'm really i really do like these capsules inside there is basically a little clippy or um, what we call the Primo EM172 capsule, which is actually very, very good, good quality. And um, you really, that having that low noise uh, figure means that you can use the gain a bit more than you would perhaps with other microphones, which is great. It also bends, which is uh, at right angles. So um, that's really not important to the sound. It's more important to the uh, just the way it looks, get it out of the way. And uh, I've basically found that if I put this into my GoPro, bend it round to face the front, it's just out of the way. Uh, if you put it in one of the uh, Ulanzi cases, which is what I do now. So this is a great microphone to use and uh, we're gonna see now how it works in practice. Okay, this is the sound of the GoPro and uh, the plug is now plugged directly into my GoPro using a Ulanzi and, and uh, uh, I've got a, a filter on the front there, it's a polarizer because it's so bright today. And the microphone is about three feet away from me and the normal kind of conditions where I've got a little bit of traffic noise in the distance going on and actually a little bit of soaring, but it's not too uh, bad at the moment. This is the sound of the microphone as it gets closer. And uh, when you're speaking at this distance, this is about a uh, foot and a bit, just over a foot. Uh, it does mean that you're going to be able to cut a little bit more of that noise down because it is a an omnidirectional kind of microphone so it's picking up everything but the proximity will hopefully bring the voice up higher way higher than the background sound <clears throat> but for general filming and vlogging it's tiny it doesn't get in the way and it really does pick up quite well in fact when i went to menorca i used the uh, little clippy almost extensively unless I was experimenting with the Rode stereo or whatever, but uh, it's, a, it's a good all-round microphone for picking up uh, voice when you're close to it, and um, it doesn't seem to overemphasize your surrounding sounds, which I did find with the stereo Rode. Uh, it did slightly accentuate everything around you. This one uh, seems to focus quite well. So that's the sound of the little pluggy on a GoPro. Of course, the beauty of this kind of setup is it is actually so small dead easy to carry around and uh, inconspicuous when you're out and about and um, I found that it works exceedingly well so uh, it's a handy uh, setup to have actually for traveling well this is the sound of the little pluggy at a quite a bit of distance and uh, normally you wouldn't film a lot at these greater distances but as you can hear it still does pick out the voice quite nicely I've got a plane going up above there and um, hopefully it's not too uh, loud in comparison to my voice but um, this microphone does work um, even at distances like this about 10 feet so that's not bad. Another way these microphones can be used is to just put them onto a, a wireless link to your camera so at the moment what I'm doing is, is I'm using the microphone plugged into a Rode video link which has, uh, gives me lots of distance without wires. It can be planted in the scene, it can be handheld, it could be even put into your pocket, your top pocket and used that way and you get nice clear audio without uh, wires going on. So in fact, filming at distance becomes much more of a reality with one of these things because it's small, can be easily planted and uh, having such a low noise figure uh, it's a better than 80 dB, minus 80. That's really good for a, a la lavalier microphone. And uh, having such a low noise means um, you are able to boost the signal if you need to, but uh, even better, when you're further away from the camera, you can have the microphone really close to you, still picking up nice clean audio and um, get a distant shot with good audio as well, which is really nice on video. And at the moment, I'm just sitting here at the table using the, uh, the Rode Link and it's on my knee. That's all I'm doing. It's just here.
One useful thing about the Rode Link is that the microphone itself only puts this signal out on the uh, left hand channel. Um, so you need to put it into the center when you mix down and everything. But uh, the Rode Link automatically gives you a signal on both sides so you get uh, a proper centered up uh, signal into your camera which is quite handy as well. Basically I've always used with my GoPro an EM172 or a Primo EM172 capsule. Um, I had one specially made by Nick at uh, mikebooster.com with a little four inch lead on. I just curled the lead around and um, fitted it to my GoPro. So this is basically the same thing except this is putting a signal into one side only but it's so much more convenient. There's just no wires and when you put this into your GoPro it disappears. This microphone retails at around £30 when it's posted out to you and honestly with a GoPro this is fantastic. If you like my videos please subscribe and hope to see you next time. Cheers for now.